all right welcome back in this video we're going to be seeing that how the complete structure or the mobile monkey account flow or uh, the organization actually works so there are some levels which you have to understand based upon which you will be designing your bot so first of all uh, first and the foremost thing i'll just click on activate chatbot And once I activate, it will say enter chatbot builder. So click on that. And once you're there, you can first of all change the welcome message, default message and main menu. And then there's groups and pages and all those things. So this is what I'm going to make you understand that how that uh, complete flow goes. What is pages? Uh, what is this uh, group and things like that. So for that, I'm going to use uh, one small little map over here. So let's call this as uh, the top level or the first level or the top level. All right. And this top level can be called as groups. All right. Or uh, rather what we can say is we'll just call it numbers. All right. Number one is uh, your mobile monkey account. All right. Now within your mobile monkey, let me just make it smaller. Within your mobile monkey account, um, you can have mm, number one, you can have groups. You can have pages. So that is basically number two. All right, uh, you can actually have multiple bots now uh, this multiple bots uh, can be configured over here as I showed you in earlier video you can just click on this more chatbots and you can click on create new chatbot but uh, one chatbot can be active or it can be uh, active one at a time you cannot have multiple chatbots active at one time so if I create a new bot so let's suppose I'll say test bot and if I click on create bot, it will go inside this. But now when I go over here and if I click on more chat bots, there would be activate button for test bot. So if I click on activate for that one, it will say uh, digital Pratik company is already connected to another bot. So if I click on connect for this one, then that one would be inactive. So one bot can be active at one time. So how you can have multiple bots simultaneously running inside one bot, all right? That is what I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna explain you in that uh, mind map. So for the timing, I'm just gonna click on activate for this main bot and uh, you can delete this test bot. Delete and click on delete. There you go. Let's go to mind mapping and why I mentioned multiple bots, I'm gonna explain that right over here so we have bots or multiple bots inside one mobile monkey account but now inside this multiple bots what i will do is one bot active or active bot or let's say one bot active at a time all right only one bot active at a time and now what will happen is I'll just make this groups into this particular one and pages into this particular one, both of them. Let's move this up. So now we have multiple bots inside mobile monkey account and inside multiple bots feature, what we can have is only one bot active at a time. Now within one bot active, what are these groups and pages? And then there are widgets. So I'll say number three as widgets. Let me just show you first. So these groups are over here. So if I enter the chatbot builder, here are the groups. All right. So there is default group. And then if I click on plus, I just have to name it. So let's say group number one, click on create group. And then there would be groups. Now within these groups, you have pages. So pages are a subset of groups. 
So that is the reason why I'm going to click on this pages and move into groups. The reason why I mentioned all of these so that you can actually understand the structure. What are the different types of elements or terms inside mobile monkey and now how it actually links up inside your account. So mobile monkey account is the top level within which you can have multiple or several bots, but within several bots, only one bot can be active for your Facebook page and within one Facebook uh, bot, which is active, you can have multiple groups. All right, right over here, you can have multiple groups created and within each and every single group, you can have multiple pages. So I'll say pages. Let's, let's just call this uh, pages. Let's just remove this number as well. And within individual pages, what do you have within pages? So let's suppose if I click on now add a page, let's say page one, click on create page. Now this page has the actual bot, which we're going to define. All right. Whatever you have is inside the page, all those widgets, these are the widgets on the top. You see text image form, then there is pro. So whatever is mentioned as pro all, or all those widgets can only be used if you have upgraded to pro and if you are using a paid plan. So click on more and it will list out all the available widgets. So this is what is widgets. So if I click on text, text widget would be right over here. So I can type anything over here. And then what do you want is the next widget in your bot? Do you want an image? Click on image and that's it. You can upload an image over here. Then if you want some typing feature, so click on typing and then there would be typing. All of these widgets, don't worry. I'm going to just uh, go through individual ones step by step. Uh, in the next video, uh, this is just an overview, a 10,000 feet overview and how a chatbot is defined inside mobile monkey. So all these pages have widgets. So now widgets will go into pages. So let's delete this number three. So now only one bot active at a time, but multiple bots can be created within what mobile monkey account. That's perfectly all right. But inside mobile monkey account, one mobile monkey account, I can actually click on connect Facebook pages and whatever the number of pages you have within your Facebook profile, all those Facebook pages individually can be connected your mobile monkey account. So instead of just one Facebook page, you can have multiple Facebook page if you have, and all those Facebook pages would have the respective paid plans and they would have their respective widgets, pages and bots and everything. All of those things will happen inside one single mobile monkey account. So now inside this mobile monkey account, I will also create one more branch and I will say multiple pages or I would say differentiate these pages from these pages. All right. So these are Facebook pages, multiple Facebook pages, and you can have multiple bots. And within multiple bots, you can have one bot at a time, groups, pages, widgets. All right. So multiple uh, Facebook pages can have all of these things. And this is how it is being structured. So that's it for this particular one. I hope you uh, have got this particular thing clear. I look forward to see you in the next one.